Hey what's up mga bubuyog, your math best friend is back for another video at ngayon ay pag-uusapan naman natin ang tungkol sa indefinite integration at uh, tatry natin ipakilala ang power formula. So ayun mga bis, no? uh, bago tayo pumunta sa power formula, eh, papakilala ko muna sa inyo ang ilang mga basic properties ng indefinite integral. First na property niya dito is the integral of dx is equal to x plus c. Okay? Ang ibig sabihin lang nito guys, kung anong variable dito ay siya dapat na variable dito. Kung yung hinahanap ay integral of the uh, x squared, eh yung integral niyan is x squared plus c. So, dapat pattern yung dalawang to. So, yun yung first basic na property niyan, guys. So, back ko muna. Okay, ano tong c? Kung napanood niyo yung previous video ko and explain ko sa inyo kung ano yung c, ang tawag dyan ay arbitrary constant. Pero kung hindi niyo napanood, well, explain ko na lang sa inyo dito. Yung sa iba, fast forward niyo na lang. Itong c, guys, is a arbitrary constant. Kasi guys, ito, we are dealing with indefinite integrals. Ibig sabihin nun, hindi siya defined. So, naglalagay tayo ng constant kasi nga, hindi natin alam kung ano yun. Okay? So, to explain further, we all know that integration, that integration is the reverse of uh, differentiation, of the uh, reverse of derivatives, di ba? So, for example, ano ngayon yung integral ng 2x dx. Okay? So, ibig sabihin lang nito, kapag isusulat natin sa derivative, ano yung i-derivative mo na ang sagot ay 2x. Okay? So, ano ba yung mga i-derivative natin na ang sagot ay 2x? Ano ba yung function na i-differentiate natin parang na ang sagot niya ay 2x? ba? Diba? x squared. Kasi nga, ang derivative ng x squared ay 2x. Okay? Pero guys, pwede rin namang yung sagot is x squared plus 3, it will yield the same answer. x squared plus 10, it will yield the same answer. x squared plus 7, it will yield the same answer. Kaya nga siya indefinite kasi hindi tayo sure kung ano yung constant dito. I hope you get the point out of there. So, ayan. Sa second property naman natin, eh, kung naguguluhan kayo, naguguluhan din ako ng una. Pero yung point lang nito, guys, kapag meron tayong constant dito sa ating function, eh, hindi yan kasama. Like, for example, di ba, kung nag-derivative tayo, the derivative of uh, 4x squared, di ba yung 4x, nilalabas muna natin yan? 4 tapos d over dx, eh, dinidrive na lang natin yung x squared. So, magiging 2x, tsaka natin i-multiply yung 4, e di 8x. Like, same like sa integration din, guys. Kapag meron tayong constant, yung a na to, no, pwede natin yung ilabas sa integral symbol at isolve muna natin yung loob para hindi siya magulo. So, yun lang naman yung point nito. Medyo, ang dami-daming letter-letter yung nakakagulo talaga. Pero yun yung meaning nun. So, punta tayo sa third na property. No? So, dito sa third property, parang uh, kung i-compare ko, ha? gusto ko kasi i-compare yung uh, derivatives sa, integ sa integral calculus no kasi parang almost same rin lang naman sila kasi magka magkarugtong silang dalawa eh okay so dito naman yung property na to is sinasabi niya lang na kapag meron tayong function like for example binomial no like for example x squared plus 7 no kukunin muna natin yung integral nito tsaka integral nito tsaka natin sila pag addin kahit ilang blank pa yan or kahit minus pa yan minus uh, x cube ganun the same lang yung process nun, guys, no? Term by term natin siya i-integrate. Alright? So, yun lang muna yung properties niya, no? So, punta na tayo sa ating power formula. Alright? So, so, ito yung ating power formula. The integral of x raised to n dx is equal to x raised to n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. Okay? Huwag hindi nyo kailangan ng i-memorize. You just need to take note kung paano ito ginagawa, di ba? Diba guys, for, diba nung sa differential calculus tayo, yung power formula natin, inagma-minus 1 tayo sa exponent. Dito guys, kabalik taran. So yung gagawin natin dito, eh mag-add lang tayo ng 1 sa exponent. After tayo na mag-add ng 1 sa exponent, kung ano yung bagong exponent, yun na ngayon yung bagong denominator natin. So, let's say for example, find the integral of x squared dx. So yun nga sabi ko, kopihin nyo lang yung x, mag-add tayo ng 1 sa exponent, 2 plus 1, that's 3. Tapos, over, kung ano yung bagong uh, exponent, yun yung denominator natin. So, x cubed over 3. Huwag kakalimutan yung plus c. Yun yung ating arbitrary constant. So, let's try another example. The integral of x q 
cube dx that would be equal to x 3 plus 1 that's 4 over 4 how if meron tayong constant dito sa ano niya let's say for example the integral of uh, 3x raised to 4 dx so yung so same process lang guys parang tulad sa derivatives huwag nating pakialaman yung constant isang tabi lang muna natin yan e gawin natin to so that's x 4 plus 1 that's 5 tapos yung denominator niyan is kung ano yung bagong exponent natin which is 5 Okay, gets? So, ganun paano gamitin yung power formula, guys. Alright, mga bis, no? So, itong power formula natin ay hindi natin yan pwedeng gamitin at all times. Kailan mag hindi magiging applicable ito ay kapag yung n natin ay equal to negative 1. Kapag yung exponent natin dito ay naging negative 1, hindi na to applicable. Kasi isipin nyo, guys, no? Let's say, for example, x raised to negative 1. Negative 1 plus 1 is thus x raised to 0 over 0. Any number, so that's 1 over 0. Ibig sabihin nito, mat error. So, hindi nga siya pwede. So, ano yung pwede natin gawin kapag yung exponent natin is negative 1? Okay? When n is equal to negative 1, the integral of x raised to n dx would be equal yan sa ln x plus c. Alright? So, kapag yung n natin ay negative 1, yung the integral niyan is ln x plus C. Huwag niyong kakalimutan yan, guys, ha? So, let's try solving some problems. Alright, so, let's turn na natin dito. Problem number one. So, for problem number one, sabi dito, find the antiderivative. Okay? So, yun nga, uh, antiderivative is same lang yun sa integral. So, kapag sinabi kong find the antiderivative, find the integral is same lang yung dalawang yun. So, find the antiderivative of 3x minus x raised to 4 dx. So, para gawin yon term by term natin siya kukunin. Dito muna, tapos dito yung next. So, simulan natin sa 3x. So, ang um, simulan natin dito sa 3x. So, bale, using the uh, power formula na discuss natin kanina, that would be equal to 3. Di ba kasi yung x raised to 1 yan, guys? Raised to 1 yung x natin, di ba? So, ito magiging 3x raised to 2 over 2. Okay? Minus x raised to 5 kasi 4 plus 1 over 5. Huwag natin kakalimutan yung plus c. So, ito na yung sagot, guys. Kapag may pwede simplify, simplify nyo muna. Pero kapag wala, pwede na itong final answer. 3x squared over 2 minus x raised to 5 over 5 plus c. So, this can be your final answer, guys. No? So, ayan. Next, let's try another example. Find the antiderivative of 6x squared plus square root of x. Bago tayo mag-solve, it convert muna natin to sa kanyang exponential form kapag mayroong mga radicals guys no e convert niyo muna sa exponential form para mas madali yung ma-solve so i-convert muna natin yan so find the integral of 6x squared plus x raised to 1 half dx right so i-solve natin ngayon to ang antiderivative niyan isimulan natin dito term by term no so dito mo tayo sa 6x squared so 6x 2 plus 1 is 3 and over 3 plus x 1 half plus 1 that's 3 over 2 sa baba 3 over 2 rin pag natin kakalimutan yung plus c so bali ngayon simplify na natin 6 divided by 3 that's 2x cubed plus ito balik na na lang natin reciprocal para malagay sa numerator 2x raised to 3 over 2 over 3 plus c so, ito ngayon yung ating final answer. This is the antiderivative or the integral of this given function. 2x cubed plus churvanels churvanels. Alright? So, next problem. So, meron tayo ditong dalawang binomial. Okay, guys? So, para ma-solve to, wala naman tayong product rule sa integration. Eh, hindi katulad sa differentiation na merong product rule. So, uh, yung gagawin natin dito is i-expand na lang muna natin sila para maging single polynomial silang dalawa. Alright? So, foil method tayo x plus 5, 2x minus 3. So, magiging 2x cubed plus 10x minus 3x minus 15. So, magiging 2x squared plus 7x minus 15. So, rewrite natin yan. That's the same as finding the antiderivative of 2x squared plus 7x minus 15 dx. So, in that way, pwede natin ulit siyang ma-solve term by term, di ba? So, isusolve ulit natin yan gamit yung ating power formula. So, ito magiging 2x 2 plus 1 is 3 
over 3 plus 7. x1 plus 1 is 2 over 2 minus 15. Kapag constant yan guys, dagdagan nyo lang kung ano yung variable na dito. So that's 15x. Huwag natin kakalimutan yan yung c. So for example, meron tayo dito minus 2. Yung integral niyan guys, or yung antiderivative niya is negative 2x. Ganun lang siya, okay? Alright? So simplify natin. Pwede pa na ba natin itong masimplify? I don't think so. Alright? So ito na yung ating final answer ladies and gentlemen. The antiderivative of the given function is this. The integral of x raised to 5 plus 4x cubed minus 5x over x squared dx. So para gawin to, e separate ulit natin sila term by term para maging single polynomial sila. So para gawin yun, magiging x raised to 5 over x squared plus 4x cubed over x squared minus 5x over x squared. So ito magiging x, over raised, to x raised to 3 kasi nga 5 minus 2 plus 4x kasi nga 3 minus 2 minus 5 over x kasi nga 2 minus 1. Okay? So ngayon, i-rewrite natin yan. Find now the antiderivative of x cubed plus 4x minus 5 over x dx. So in this way, pwede natin siyang kunin term by term. ba? So ngayon, simulan natin sa x cubed. Ang antiderivative niyan or the integral niyan using the power formula. Alright? So yung integral ng x cubed e x raised to 4 over 4. Kasi nga, 3 plus 1. Plus, yung integral naman ng 4x is 4x squared. Kung anong exponent, yun din yung nasa denominator. Minus, dito naman tayo guys. Kung makikita nyo, nasa denominator yung x, eh hindi yun applicable. Dapat nasa numerator para magamit natin yung power formula. Eh, so, i-convert natin yan muna. So, magiging negative 5x raised to negative 1. Kasi nga, inakyat lang natin. So, naging negative yung positive 1 dito. Ngayon guys, kung naaalala nyo kanina, sabi ko, bawal tayong magkaroon ng negative 1 na exponent. Kasi nga, magiging mat error yung sagot doon. Eh, ano ngayon yung gagawin natin? Balik tayo sa formula, when n is negative 1, if we have an exponent of negative 1, the integral of that certain function would be equal to this, ln x plus c. So, balik tayo dito. Ang sagot natin dito is negative 5 ln x plus c. So, simplify na lang natin yung sagot natin. That's x raised to 4 over 4 plus 4 divided by 2. That's 2x squared minus 5 ln x plus c. So, this is our final answer na, mga bis, no? This is the antiderivative or the integral of this given function. Alright, mga bis, so we are down for our last problem. So, yun nga, step number one, kapag may mga radical, i-convert muna natin yan sa kanilang exponential form. So, converting that, that's the integral also of x raised to 1 half times x plus x raised to 2 over 3. That's 2 over 3. So ngayon guys, distribute natin ito para maging single complete binomial sila. Kung yung kakalimutan yung dx. So find the integral ngayon of x raised to 3 over 2 plus 1 half plus, uh, 1 half plus 2 over 3 would be equal to x raised to 1 half plus 2 over 3 is equal to 7 over 6. The integral of x raised to 3 halves would be x baga add tayo dito ng plus 2 over 2 edi magiging 5 over 2 over 5 over 2 plus ito naman x baga add tayo dito ng 6 over 6 because that's also equal to 1 diba? so magiging 13 over 6 over 13 over sobrahan 13 over 6 Plus, huwag kakalimutan yung C, yung arbitrary constant. Tapos, simplify na lang natin. Balik ta rin natin to Magiging 2 fifth x raised to 5 over 2 plus 6 over 13 x raised to 13 over 6 plus C. So, this is our final answer na mga bis, no? So, ayun mga bis, that's it for this video. And for our next video, ay pag-uusapan naman natin kung tungkol sa integration by use substitution. Kasi guys, for example, tignan nyo yung... For example, ito guys. Like for example, kung ito yung given natin tapos raised to 5 yan. Tapos raised to 6. Hindi naman natin pwedeng expand yan kasi ang haba-haba na yan. So meron yung, uh, meron yung technique and that's what we call U-substitution. So magagamit natin yon para 
ma-solve yung mas complicated na problems involving the power formula. So that's it mga bis, no? Kung may natutunan kayo, please like, share, and subscribe. Kung may mga kamalian man, eh, comment down below at try natin yung itama. That's it mga bis. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye mga bis.